Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss about no code solution for Telegram auto replies and Telegram auto forwarding. So I'm going to use services which are available at quickbotify.com. So let's go ahead and log in. So you can sign up using Google account. I'm going to sign in with Google and I'm going to use this account. So once you are signed in, you'll be able to see all the available services. Right now you can see there are three services available. So we are going to use a reply bot and also we are going to use forward bot. So I'm going to show you how we can configure it. So right Right now it is free as well so let's go ahead and select this one reply bot i'm going to select on free or you can click on view add it to cart and once it is added to cart we can just go on to cart and then we can proceed to checkout here type the address so i'm just going to type the address delhi country is india uh, city i'm going to keep delhi i provide your phone number for now i'm just going to provide any phone number and in the zip code you can provide the zip code click on proceed to payment since it is free we are not redirected to any payment gateway as of now now click on settings now here we will be able to configure our bot so first of all we will need to have a bot so i'm going to go to telegram and here we can go to bot father and you can create a new bot. So again, to create a new bot, uh, all you need to do is you need to type slash new bot here, and then it is going to ask for what is the name you want to give to this bot. So in this case, I'm just going to give it quick botify. And then you also need to provide the username, which must end with bot or underscore bot. So in this case, I have provided quick botify bot, and then telegram is going to reply you with the token. So here you can see this is a token. I'm going to change the token after the tutorial ends. But yeah, this is how you can go ahead and uh, create a bot. Now we'll be needing this token to configure here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the token here. And this bot name, you can provide any logical name for this bot. So in this case, I'm going to call it quick botify bot. And then we can click on save. So here you can see bot setting has been updated successfully. And right now the bot is not enabled. You can see here we have not enabled it. So we have just configured it and then we are going to add auto replies. So now we are going to go ahead and select the group. So in this case, I do have a group which is called Python programmers. Here you can see the group. And what we are going to do here is we are going to add the bot which we just created in this group. So we can go ahead, click on add and here we are going to provide the member. So it's going to be quick botify bot and just select it. So now you can see quick botify is added to the group. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make this an administrator for this group. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on edit, going to go to administrator and then I'm going to go ahead, select the bot, which is quick botify bot. This one now click on yes. And now you can see we have quick botify added here. If you want to remove any bot from admin, you can just go ahead and uh, click on dismiss admin so i'm just going to remove all other bots so we now have quick botify added as admin here now one more thing which we need to do is uh, we can go to bot father again and for this bot we will need to disable security or privacy uh, because our bot should be able to read all the messages which is being sent in this group so in that case we are going to go ahead and write set privacy and then we will have to select the bot so in this case it is going to be quick botify bot and here you can see the current status is enabled i'm going to go ahead and disable it so now what is going to happen is any message which is sent in this group it is going to be sent to this bot which is quick botify and then our bot will be able to auto reply so now we need to configure settings related to auto reply for example question and answers so we are going to do that thing here so let's go ahead and uh, click on add now here we are going to paste ahead question and answer so for example what is the response which you are expecting for example let's say if somebody writes hi we want to reply with hi how may i help you and then let's go ahead and add it. So here you can see this one is added. We can go ahead and click on add more and we can continue to add more. For example, somebody wants to know about uh, product pricing and they may write product price. So in that case, we may want to reply with the list of all the available product prices. So let's say uh, product one price is whatever. And similarly, you may have list of other products and uh, prices so you may want to reply with that and let's go ahead add one more so let's say if somebody writes thanks you may want to reply with glad it helped let's click on submit so now we had these auto replies added we are just going to go ahead enable it and then click on save and now our bot should be able to reply automatically so let's go ahead and write hi which we have configured here so i'm just going to write hi as a user and you can see quick botify has replied hi how may i help you uh, let's go ahead and write thanks 
and you can see bot has replied again so this is how you can quickly go ahead and create no code solution for auto replying now let's go ahead and see how we can configure auto forwarding so auto forwarding can be helpful in the situation where let's say you have around 10 to 20 groups and you typically send the same message in all the 20 groups so in that case you typically would be copy pasting the same message in all the 20 groups now in this case what we are going to do is let's say we have a group for example this python programmers group now whatever message you type here you want it to be forwarded to other groups Groups. okay so I'm going to show you how it can be configured so our group one we are going to keep it as Python programmers group itself and let's say we have another group which is called miss rose tutorial okay. so now let's go ahead and configure all the messages which is uh, which we are sending in this group which is Python programmers to be sent to miss rose tutorial as well and let's see how we can do that or you can just click on go back and here we can just go ahead and click on add and we can subscribe to forward bot now let's go ahead click on add to cart it's added to the cart we are just going to go ahead go to the cart and click on proceed to checkout agree to the terms and condition click on proceed to payment and now we have other bots subscribed here as well we are going to go ahead and click on settings now here you can see in the type it is reply bot and it is forwarder bot so now we are going to go ahead and configure forwarder bot so let's go ahead click on settings and here we will need to provide the bot name for example again this bot is also quick botify bot but i want to keep it for auto forwarding now in the bot token it is the same bot token so i'm just going to go to bot father going to go ahead copy the token again and we can paste the token here now we can go ahead click on save and then we can go to advanced configuration click on add and here we can type the from group and to group for example let's say all the message which is being sent in this python programmers group we want to send it to miss rose tutorial group so in that case once you click on python programmers group you can see here on the top in the url we have a group id so i'm just going to go ahead copy it. Uh, copy from hyphen until the end so i'm just going to go ahead uh, paste it here and then in the two group again we are going to go to miss rose tutorial and we are going to go ahead copy it and paste it here now one thing which you need to make sure is that in miss rose tutorial group or uh, basically all the target groups you should have the bot added so let's go ahead and add our bot here as well i'm just going to go ahead and add a quick botify bot here as well and we can also go ahead and make it as an administrator so i'm just going to go ahead click on add and make quick botify as an admin okay so everything looks good now so now we can go ahead to our forwarder configuration again if you want to copy only certain messages which contain certain text you can go ahead and put the text here and if you want only certain messages to be forwarded for example let's say if you want only the messages which is sent by me or maybe some other person to be forwarded to all the groups in that case you can configure that here as well but for now i'm just going to show you how you can do simple forwarding so i'm just going to go ahead and click on submit and you can see the configuration has been done here now this is from one group to one group if you want to send from one group to multiple groups you can add multiple groups here as well uh, which i'm going to show you soon so let's go ahead enable it and click on save again now our bot should be able to forward messages so let's go ahead see that in action i'm just going to go ahead go to python programmers and let's say we have some special offer and you have detail about a special offer and you are sending this message only in one group and you want it to be sent in all the other groups for example in our case it is going to be sent to miss rose tutorial group so let's go ahead and click on send and you can see now this message has been forwarded to miss rose tutorial group as well now what if we want to forward the message to multiple groups so let me show you how we can do that so i have this another group which is viproville tips and q a i'm just going to go ahead copy it uh, copy the group id and then we are going to go ahead click on add more going to paste it in the to group and in the from group again we want to paste the id of this uh, python programmer group and again in the text contain sent by we are going to leave it as it is click on submit so here you can see now we have uh, items being forwarded to multiple groups now i'm going to go to python programmers group now before i in fact do that i also need to go ahead and add our bot in this wipro wilp group so i'm just going to go ahead click on add member and we are going to add uh, this group here and we are going to add this bot here and i'm also going to go ahead and make this bot as an admin okay so this is done now we should be able to send messages to a python programmers group and here i'm just going to go ahead and write some test message and this message here you can see it has been forwarded to this group which is miss rose tutorial group and it has also been forwarded to a second group which is wipro build so this is how you can enable auto forwarding or auto reply using quick botify services so that's all for now if you have any question please feel free to 
leave the comment and if you have any more suggestion on all the other services which you would like to be available on this uh, platform do let me know in the comment section as well thank you so much for watching